Hello again, welcome to Lillybrook. Now, did you know that golf balls came in different sizes? About 20 years ago or so, there was a flirtation with oversized golf balls. The reason for this is you get less spin on the ball. So they were promoted as being long and straight, less backspin, less side spin. Problem over here was the ball that they produced was the Molitor. Who can remember the Molitor? It was a rock. It was cheap as chips. You get a pack of 18 for 9.99, but it was horrible. You might as well have played with a pebble off the beach. And it had a nasty reputation of splitting in two. I've seen quite a few which were guys that split in two, guys that I was playing with, so I saw it with my own eyes. Now I thought that was the only ball. Apparently, it isn't. I've come across these. This is the Ram Tour OS 172. So shall we give it a go? See if it's straighter, see if it's longer. And of course it's got to be better. It's got that word Tour on the box. Now these weren't cheap like the Molitors. Don't know if it'll focus, but that's £3.50 for a two pack. So it better be bloody good. Let's go play a few holes. Now if you see two balls on the green, it's because I'm making two videos at the same time. Well, I'm with the greenkeepers this morning. So I haven't actually picked up a club for about 15 minutes while they cut this 14th fairway. So that was a pretty decent shot, but it's a little left, which means I'm down the bank. I'm just going to try and force a 9-iron. Let's see how long this thing is. And of course I didn't hit it very well. Now I wouldn't normally go out my way to test balls or clubs. But if something interesting falls in my lap, then I have a go with them. Something different. Chance of a par. I really ought to get this. Ah, oh, bugger. Right, I just compared this to an ordinary golf ball and it looks absolutely huge. Now I didn't hit the ball too well on the 14th so let's give it a mulligan, try again. Now we're on 15, it's driver. I'm not looking forward to this, if this is anything like a Molitor, my ears are going to be ringing. Well, with the reputation of the Molitor being a rock, I'm not actually looking forward to hitting this thing with a driver. But we'll see how this Ram Tour gets on. And it doesn't sound too bad. And it didn't feel too bad. Perhaps it's an improvement. Now, I've already hit the hybrid, so I'm going to try and lean on the 4-iron here. Just to see what it feels like off a long iron. But I was certainly trying too hard because I've dragged that left. I'm not exactly doing this ball any justice at the moment. But this isn't too bad. I've had this shot before. It looks difficult, but it isn't really. And any ball that can get me a par, there's got to be a good ball in my book. Now I fouled up the recording of the driver, but it was an absolute beauty. But the ball flight was interesting. Those of you who hit a Bellata with a wooden driver would recognize me saying that it started low and then it climbed high and then it dropped out the sky, which is why it hasn't charged across the fairway to my normal position. So while the flight was good and interesting, it actually hurt me. Now off the putter it feels obviously firmer than my Pro V1. 
Yeah, don't try and run too much, Simon. You're too old for that. But it's not a bad ball to put with. Right, my final hole with this thing. That drive I just hit down 16 is as good as anything I've ever hit down 16. Strange ball flight though. It seemed to go quite high and then drop very, very quickly. That might be a product of low spin. It might be the old fashioned dimple design from whenever this golf ball was created. But this is no Molitor. It felt pretty decent. It sounded pretty decent, much like any other two-piece ball. I think the cover, sticking my thumbnail in it, is a fraction softer than you'd expect out of a distance ball, so perhaps that is the difference. Will it go in the bag? Well, obviously not. It's not a premium golf ball, the sort of thing that I normally play. In fact, I'd rather play with my own balls. Cheerio! You know, for a two-piece ball, this is not awful, coming from a Pro V1. It's a little louder, and it feels a little firmer. But as I say, it is not awful. This is no Molitor, if any of you have played with those things. The only thing that's missing, really, is the check. When you chip onto a green like this, I'm used to it going... Bounce, check, slow down, run out. Without the check, it just went too damn far. But overall, yeah, not bad for a two-piece, except for the price. Cheerio!